So if you're honest with yourself, you will realize, you will know that the U.S. Mint is probably the world's largest coin dealer. In fact, I don't even think it's a probably. The U.S. Mint is the world's largest coin dealer. And they have a chokehold on the fact that not only do they produce coins, but they sell the coins as well. So rather than a regular coin dealer which buys a coin and then turns around and sells the coin, the U.S. Mint gets the luxury of being able to produce and then sell their own coins. And again, they do it on a massive, massive scale to the point that there is no other coin company in the world that can match. Now, this year being 2020 and almost going into 2021, it's weird. It it feels weird. It's obviously a weird thing if there's not a new special edition Silver Eagle coin. Uh, last year it was the 19S reverse proof. This year, uh, you know, we had the uh, V75s, and there's always something going on special with the U.S. Mint and the Silver Eagle. And, of course, next year in 2021, we will have the new reverse, but it wasn't actually always that way. In fact, there's only been a few anniversary coin sets or special coin sets up until recently when they just started producing something new every single year because they knew that we were going to buy it. Now, unfortunately, I do not own the 10th anniversary 1995 Silver and Gold Eagle coin set that comes with the 95W Eagle, which is a very, very rare Silver Eagle. Uh, don't own that set, but I do have the 2006 and 2011 anniversary Silver Eagle coin sets. And like I said... Uh, you know, there wasn't really a special release between 06 and 11 for the Silver Eagle coin sets. And then after that, they came out with the 2012. They came out with the two-piece set. They did so again in 2013. And you guys know the rest is history. They just keep coming out with new special edition release Silver Eagles just because they know that the public is going to buy them. And I myself am one of those people where I know, yeah, I'm probably going to buy it. So they know that, you know, I'm their target. I am their target consumer. I am somebody who is most definitely going to be buying them. But I figured what we would do in this video, now that we've kind of stated that, uh, for you that didn't realize it, I imagine most of you did, is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the two that I have, the 2006 and then the 2011. We'll talk a little bit about them. Now, the 2006 20th anniversary coin set uh, obviously came in the silver box. Inside of the silver box was this black plasticky United States Mint box. As you can see, it's got the, the leathery padded on the top, but outside of that, it's plastic on the outside. They minted 250,000 of these sets. Now, inside the set, you have three coins. You have the proof. You have the reverse proof, and by the way, this is the first ever reverse proof Silver Eagle. And then you have the business strike or uncirculated Silver Eagle. This was a very, very gorgeous set when it came out. There were a lot of people that wanted it. Of course, you have the certificate of authenticity. Taking a look inside, just certifies the coins, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Very, very cool. And again, we'll take a look. This is the first ever, you know, reverse proof Silver Eagle. Now, they did not make another reverse proof Silver Eagle after this 2006 P until 2011 when they came out with the 2011 set. So that was it. They came out with the 2006 set. There was a reason for it, the 20th anniversary. And then, you know, for the 25th anniversary, they came out with this. Now, this set is very special because the 2011 25th anniversary set had a minage of only 100,000, which uh, at the time was very low. And uh, it's still kind of very low. Uh, it's a very big set. It has five pieces in it. And uh, we're going to take a look at those really quick. So we'll get this thing open. We'll pull it out of the box for you. And you can see we have some fingerprints and smudging on it. And you can see the reflection of everything there, my microphone and camera included. But we have inside, we have the Certificate of Authenticity, 25th Anniversary American Eagle set. And then, you know, same thing as the other one. It kind of goes into detail. And then if you look on the reverse, which I didn't show you on the other one, uh, but I believe it is on the other one, it kind of goes over what you have. So, um, you know, we have two W's, a P, a Nomad Mark, and a San Francisco. So let's take a look at what these coins actually are. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. Oof. Which one is it? It is the W. So the uncirculated W actually came out of the holder inside of my set. It looks to be okay, but that was unexpected when I opened this. I haven't opened this in a while, and I figured I'd open up for this video. So let's gently get that back in there oh 
Oof. So, yeah. So I'm kind of glad that it was the W that popped out because the thing about this set is two of the coins in this set were only ever available in this set. Uh, so you have the 2011 Reverse Proof, which was only available in this set. And then you also have the 2011 S Burnished, which was also only available in this set. So taking a look at the set, you know, we have our five coins and they are absolutely gorgeous, of course. Uh, this is the second reverse proof ever to be produced for the Silver Eagle, the 2006 that I just showed you being the first. Of course, you have the proof. You have the W. And then over here, we'll take this out gently. You can see we have our 2011 S burnished. So this one right here is also only available in this very set. It was never produced anywhere else. And then we have our 2011, this is just your regular no mint mark business strike. So I am glad that the one that was kind of popped out of the case that I didn't know was popped out of the case was the W because you can get the W elsewhere uh, because as you know, they do release the Ws. They've been releasing them all the way since 2006 and their own special mint packaging. So you can get this one elsewhere but you cannot get this one, and you cannot get this one anywhere besides the set, which means there is a minage on these of only 100,000. Uh, the proof you can get elsewhere, this one you can get elsewhere, and this one you can quite literally just get out of tubes. So you could technically replace those inside of the set. Now, whenever you sent this set off to NGC to be certified, or PCGS for that matter, you would have to send them sealed if you wanted these three coins actually labeled as the coins from the 25th anniversary set, because, you know, as I just said, once it was open, there's no way to know if they are the ones that originally came out of the set or if they are the ones that were replaced. Say you had one that had a bad finish and you just replaced it with a regular 2011 proof. But these two, even today, you can get certified as from the 25th anniversary set because there's no other way to get them except inside this set. So that is the story of the Silver Eagles. You know, like I said... They used to not do a special release every year, but they do now, as we all know. And uh, we will probably keep buying them because that's what we do. I don't think everyone's okay with that, but, you know, a lot of people are, and they'll continue to buy them because they are absolutely beautiful coins. Of course, next year we do have the new reverse coming out mid-year. The year's going to start with the regular reverse about midway through the year. We should see, start seeing the new reverse, so I'm really excited about those. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you learned a little bit about the Silver Eagles and the old sets, the 2006 and 2011. And we will talk to you next time, guys. Do me a favor before you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my awesome channel members that are scrolling on the right hand of the screen right now, including tonight's featured Palladium member. Thank you so very much for your support. Guys, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.